How is a heart attack treated? A heart attack poses a significant risk to life, particularly if the heart stops beating, called a cardiac arrest. This is why a heart attack is always treated as an emergency. Patients having a heart attack are usually in pain and are frightened or anxious. The first priority is to relieve the pain, provide oxygen if needed, and to give reassurance. The ambulance crew or hospital staff will give pain relief either as an injection into the vein or a gas mixture called Entonox through a face mask. Aspirin to chew. This reduces the stickiness of the blood cells called platelets that are responsible for forming blood clots. Oxygen is given via a face mask to those patients who need it. Rapid admission to hospital is important, so the drugs that break down the clots, clot busters or thrombolysis, to use the medical term, can be given if required. These drugs are administered by an injection through a vein. The sooner these drugs are given, the greater the likelihood they will work and reduce the amount of heart muscle damaged. Not all patients are suitable for treatment with thrombolysis. Occasionally, procedures using balloon stretching of the blocked artery, called angioplasty or PTCA, are needed. These procedures aim to improve the blood supply to the surviving heart muscle. Once in hospital, you will usually be admitted to a coronary care unit, also known as the CCU. Tests will be performed to help decide on the best treatment for you and may include ECGs, blood tests, a chest X-ray, an ultrasound scan of the heart called an echocardiogram, a treadmill walking test called an exercise tolerance test, an X-ray dye test called a coronary angiogram to look at the heart arteries in more detail.